Gooseberries How to Can Pickling by Evergreen Gardens in Me. I have taken 250 grams of gooseberries. As you can see in the picture, the gooseberry is shining and clear without spots. That gives you a good pickle. Chop your gooseberries in whichever way you like it, separating the seeds from the pulp. As you can see, I am bottling my gooseberries. These bottles are from the used honey bottles that I am reusing at home. You can put all your pulp in one bottle and all the seeds with little pulp in another bottle so that you can use them easily. For pickling, as you know, we need to use salt. So for this tiny bottle with the seeds, I am using one tablespoon of salt and for the big bottle, two tablespoons of salt. Give a nice shake to the bottle so the salt spreads evenly in both the bottles and you can get good pickle if that happens. Hope everybody are waiting to see what's in there. Let's open the bag. Wow, something interesting. That looks gorgeous guys. Look at the texture of the gooseberries, they really soaked well in the salt and got all the juice out of them. They are really going to be yummy, hope you guys can make something like that and taste it. If you give a try, it's really going to be yummy. The gooseberries really look yummy and they smell really good. Hope you guys will like the taste when you make it at home. Please give it a try. Uh, it's really yummy to eat it with curd rice or with sambar rice. Uh, hope you guys will enjoy the delicious Nelika, especially in the summer season. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Also press the bell button uh, for more videos to come.